Let's get right to the tale of the tape brought to you by Corona. And you can see Brandon Figueroa has all the advantages. He's 10 years younger. He's got the height advantage, certainly the reach advantage as well. Let's see if he uses those in this fight. Both fighters are in the ring. We get the official introduction from Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Silver Street Studios here in Houston, Texas. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with six rounds in the Super Bantamweight Division. The three judges ringside are Robert Gonzalez, Randy Russell, and Barry Yates. And the referee in charge, who in the bell sounds, Lawrence Cole. They introduce the first fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red, white, and the black. His professional record, 10 wins, five of those coming by way of knockout against four losses from Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Raul Cherino. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the silver and the purple. As a professional, he is undefeated. Ten wins, seven of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of West Lago, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Brandon Heartbreaker Figueroa. Well, Brandon Figueroa, Raul Torino, and Figueroa for basically since the beginning has been trained by his father, but Joel Diaz now in his corner. He's been a month training with his older brother Omar Figueroa. And Joel Diaz out in California. They got him in tremendous shape and ready to put on the show here in Houston. And they're coming out with a fresh clean jab. Figueroa's got the purple trunks. Torino in the red, black, and white. This is more like a fill out round. Both guys will start off with their jabs and try to get closer to each other. So left to the body by Torino. That's a stiff jab by Figueroa. He's like, he's, he's starting to fast. Figueroa is. Nice right Stop. hand over the top by Torino. Yeah, Torino connects with that right hand. Minute gone here in round one. We're scheduled for six. Very similar style to his brother. Here's the left to the body by Brandon. And his father said he really thought that he could hurt Trino with a left to the body. And here's a right to the body. Hopefully called that one Smith. Stop! Get a bad flash in there. Don't have to be careful with that. There's another left to the body by Figueroa. And Figueroa places his place very well. He's 20 years old and uh, has much experience. Box! Minute left here in round one. He got Torino in the point, so those body shots are really getting him. Early on. I like his upper top. How about that combination? That's up with an uppercut. Yes. And a right to the body again by Figueroa. He's digging now to the body. And it seems like the more Sharino stays there, the probably he's just going to keep unloading more shots. Right. Under 30 seconds here in round one. Nice day, yeah. 
Good counter by Torino. Brown run comes to an end. Torino turns with an uppercut. That was a little low at the bell. And as you can see right there on that uppercut with my figure and he's getting closer and, and he's not going anywhere. He's standing in the pocket and he's landing the last play. This is round two. Looks like that right hook hurt him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it did. That one rocked Torino. He took right. a step back. Figueroa now. And look at those oh, oh, shots. Nice. Here's a right hook by Figueroa. And I'm very impressed how Figueroa is coming out in the second round. Knowing that he hurt him in the first round. Jumps right back on him. Usually, Figueroa is trained by his father, but for the past month, he spent with Joel Diaz in California. And his older brother, Omar Figueroa, as he continues to pound the body of Torino. Those body shots have become a way of breaking down this wall. Also cut this by Figueroa. Good shots. Torino's definitely going to power Figueroa. Double up that left hook. Right there, he tries to right hand. Combination of right two by Figueroa. Right hand gets through as well. Very unique style. Both fighters are just punching. Left leg in the middle. Left leg in the middle. Left leg in the middle. Come on. Get back. All angles. That's what I like about the prison. Left leg in the middle. We are halfway through round two. He steps around. Just touch. Just touch. Continue. Body chop all the way right off the It's a great combination. Shorino's game. He's a game fighter. He's here to fight. I lost the level. Under a minute here, round two. Once again, Figueroa got Torino against the ropes. And it seems that Torino does better once he's moving forward. Um, as Figueroa seems to back him up. The majority of this fight so far. You got that right, because Torino's letting his hands go as he comes forward. That was right on the back by Figueroa. for someone like him now with Joel Diaz and even Omar said at the fighter meeting I was impressed with my younger brother I didn't know if he could if boxing was for him he said but he showed me in the past month he went through everything Joel threw at him he said I can see he's a lot more sharper a lot more confident it takes it takes a lot for a fighter of his age to, to start learning and, and that's the thing you have to be coachable first he looks like he's hurt with that right there Figueroa's going to the body well. Oh, a big body shot by Figueroa. That would be like a mark on Torino. Torino training. And that's what I see. Boy boy training with his dad. Big boy training with Diaz. You know. Oh, Straight. Oh, Straight. You can trust the way both. Both step first. Step first. So you get a chance to. You should hear in the corner how Figueroa about being more aggressive and getting them out of there. So this round, 